You can find equalize under the color correction category. And what this effect is going to do is try to balance out all of the values of the pixels of whatever you apply it to. So I have this very moody, contrasty photo of this woman covered in shadows and wearing a striped shirt. If I apply the equalize effect to that photo, everything's gonna get a whole lot brighter and it doesn't necessarily look that good, but what the effect is trying to do is bring up all those shadows so that they match and are balanced out a little bit more evenly with all of the bright pixels in the image. Let's take a look at the controls. We have equalize method, which is Photoshop style by default. There's an equalize command in Photoshop, so that's why it's called Photoshop style. It's gonna behave the same way as it does in Photoshop. And this method is going to attempt to redistribute all these pixel values so that it has a more consistent, evenly represented range of brightness values through the entire image. I can change this to brightness and then it's only going to affect the brightness values of these pixels. So everything is probably gonna be a lot more saturated because it's not adjusting anything to do with color, just the brightness values. We're getting a lot of posterization because without this, this chunk right here is very much in the shadows so there's not a lot of pixel data to work with in the first place. So it doesn't look all that great. But with any of these methods, you can use the next property which is amount to equalize and just dial it back some. So if you wanted to just increase that a little bit, that doesn't look quite as bad and it's a little bit more balanced. Same thing for Photoshop style. If I didn't wanna do 100%, I wouldn't have to. I could just bring it up a little bit. But then finally we have RGB, and this is going to modify all three color channels, red, green, and blue, which effectively also adjusts the brightness. So this is the brightness only, and this is the RGB mode where each color channel is modified individually so we don't get quite so saturated of pixels when everything gets brightened up. Again, that's probably way too much for this photo, so I'd probably dial it back around 30%. But that's it, it's a very simple effect, and that's all you need to know about Equalize. Hey, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this tutorial, then check out the other ones here on my YouTube channel. And if you like my teaching style, then definitely check out my longer form content on Skillshare and School of Motion. And if you wanna support more tutorials like this one, check out my Patreon. You can find links for all that stuff in the description of this video.